All right. Um, that that was um, that last example. Maybe a little bit too simple, right? So we gotta we gotta dial it up a notch. <laughs> Take it up a notch. Whatever you want to call it. Anyways, this here is an expression. What do you think we should try to do? Factor it, right? Now, when we factor it, we're really looking for something multiplied by itself when we factor it, right? Because that'll give us that expression squared, the binomial specifically. So, let's look to factor this. 25 would split up. So, yeah, we need it to add up to a negative 10 in this case, right? So that's going to be negative 5. Very good. And negative 5. So we got the square root now of x minus 5 times x minus 5, which really is the square root of, well, x minus 5. And we're going to square this. Now, if we take the square of something and then square root it, it's really like taking the absolute value of whatever we squared and then square rooted. There's our answer.